Right, we're just going to quickly go through the um, overclocking settings on a Raspberry Pi. It is very simple to do. Um, it may look a bit daunting at first because it's all uh, it's all code, uh, but it's all laid out for you nicely. So it's literally just a couple of little tiny changes. So we're going to open the config file on our SD card. So you sh your SD card should look something like this. Um, this is running OpenELEC. So, uh, but Raspberry MC also has a config file that you can change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that in Notepad++. So all I've done is right click, edit in Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, um, I would highly recommend downloading it and installing it. It's free of charge and it's brilliant for editing code. If you, um, if you use the, uh, the piece of garbage that comes with um, Windows as standard, that Notepad application, it's it's useless it is really is rubbish honestly don't don't bother you'll find text garbled up and not formatted properly so uh, i would highly recommend using this so i'm going to open that and as you can see here it gives us nice bits of information so these uh these things here where you see all these these little hash symbols it means the line is uh commented out so that means the system doesn't see that that is just for our eyes only to help us out so as you can see we've got like a disclaimer at the top there and then it tells us uh, a little bit more about the file the configuration um, so it tells us what's going on there we've got the memory um, and that tells us what's going on there the GPU memory there's lots of different things you can change in there but you, you're not really going to need to change that um, well most likely you're not going to unless uh, unless you're doing something very advanced and down here we have overclocking settings um, and it gives you a little warning there about what to do, what not to do. So in this table here, that's an example of the settings you can have. So for example, I have mine set to turbo. Um, and here is the actual settings just here. So what we need to do, first of all, is uncomment them out. So at the moment, we've got no overclocking at all because they are actually commented out, those lines, so the system doesn't see them. So all we've got to do is delete these, okay? Delete these little hash symbols. Um, and we need to change it to those values above. So in my example, I'm going to change it to turbo. Now, what I am going to say, though, as a disclaimer here, is uh, if you're running off of an SD card as opposed to a USB stick, um, be very very careful um, over the last year I've done lots of testing lots of SD cards and USB sticks and all that with SD cards there is a very big chance of corrupting the SD card and uh, doing um, irreversible damage to it so uh, you will basically break the SD card if you overclock um, I personally don't recommend on an SD card it it's probably going to break it somewhere along the line um, okay um, if you're using a usb stick they're pretty much unbreakable you you know i've not come across one that i've managed to break yet and i've put some very high settings in um, and all that's happened is it just gets very hot but it's never actually broken anything so um i'm going to use turbo because uh, th that works great and um if uh, if you find that you put some settings in and it just doesn't boot up or maybe it boots up and then it starts rebooting just go to a lower setting um, you know just uh, open this up in your PC um, just change these settings to a lower one maybe you want to try high see if that works if it doesn't work it probably well almost certainly it means that your power supply is a load of rubbish okay so um, you can look at uh, my guides and um, also have a look on XBMC talk and I've um, I've mentioned which ones are good uh, well I've mentioned a particular power supply that's very good and it's very cheap and it runs turbo no problems whatsoever so um, I'm gonna go for turbo so what we need in here is the arm frequency so you can see that in that table there so that's a thousand one thousand um, we then need core frequency which is 500 so 500 and SD RAM frequency is also 500 and the over voltage is six um, and we're not quite done there what we also need to do is set force turbo okay so we delete that little hash there we need to enable that so zero is off and one is on uh, that's just generic computer language zero is uh, off one is on um, and it says there um, 
you can lose your warranty um, which is absolutely true yes you can use lose your uh, warranty by enabling this um, however I've I've not managed to break any kind of Raspberry Pi doing this and I've done a lot a lot of Raspberry Pis um, and I've not known of anyone to break one yet and uh, what this force turbo does is it will um, force the Raspberry Pi to run in these settings all the time so it will force it to overclock all the time now if it's disabled in theory uh, what would happen is those settings would only come into effect as and when they're needed which sounds great unfortunately XBMC doesn't appear to um, tell it when it needs to overclock so you're pretty much um, just set at the stock settings uh, so really you do need that as force turbo um, and that's it that is it for the overclocking so you can just save that and exit out um, also in here you can add other settings there's plenty of settings you can add in here so you know you can do over scanning you can you can force HDMI um, these bits down here are for if you want to buy a codec so you can go on the Raspberry Pi uh, Foundation website and you can buy an MPEG-2 uh, codec and you can buy uh, well, yeah, there's a couple of different codecs you can buy and basically they give you a code and you just put it in here um, generally I, I've found hardly any um, any of my videos um, need the codec I may have come across a couple of streams in the last year that wouldn't play because they was MPEG-2 um, and basically what will happen uh, you'll know if you need the codec you will have uh, most likely you'll have a black screen so no video output but you can usually hear the audio output if you get that the chances are it's using a codec that you need to buy they're very cheap so you know if you want to chuck one in um, do so um, and it gives you the link there where you can where you can get the codecs um, and that's it really we so we can close that and stick that back in our Raspberry Pi and it will all take effect um, if you want to um, see what other commands you can use in there go to elinux.org slash raspberry pi uh, slash rpi config um, and this gives you a whole list of different things you can stick in there so um, you know if you want to uh, if you want to do more advanced features it it's all in here it tells you exactly what everything does you can force different um, modes so you could force say 720p if you wanted to and and things like that so um, yeah plenty of things you can do um, but that's it that is how simple it is to just set overclocking